Hi friends, uh, so in this video we'll learn about how we can implement login with Facebook, GitHub or Twitter or other social media account in our Laravel application. We'll implement, uh, we'll allow user to log in with their Facebook account or GitHub or Twitter account or whatever other social media account. So uh, to integrate that feature, we'll use this Socialite package. This is the official package uh, for Laravel. Okay, as you can see, this is by Taylor Otwell. So, okay, so far uh, what I've done is I've installed new Laravel application and I've run PHP artisan make auth. So now let's install this package. So we'll require this package okay you can follow these instructions to install this package and configure it I'll quickly go through the process okay now uh, the package is installed so let's go to documentation and quickly add this class to provider and alias similarly add this alias okay so now so now we need to configure uh, the service for example if we want to use the github as uh, our provider so we want to log in with github we need to obtain uh, the client id secret and redirect uri from github so that github will allow us to use uh, this service okay so this is just a way uh, for github to know who is making request so let's go to okay so go to this uh, URL this is in description and login as uh, your account so here we'll create new application so I will call this uh, Lara social okay so our application home page yeah home page will be slash home i guess okay for now I'll just put this as home page and the callback url uh, will be so after authentication uh, it will uh, redirect all the information to this uri so this we need to create okay so we'll create that route so go to web.psv so actually we'll create uh, these two route uh, instead of this we'll call this uh, social auth uh, you can call it whatever you want so instead of github we'll just use a placeholder provider and this will be same so yeah we'll create a new controller called social auth controller and the method in that controller will be redirect to provider and yeah handle provider callback okay so let's create that controller so please let's clear the screen PSV artisan make controller so that controller will be inside auth so we need to provide that path so social auth controller okay so that controller created inside sus auth folder here it is so we need to create uh, those two methods so first will be okay so first uh, will be redirect to provider and this will contain provider so the work of this uh, method will be to redirect, uh, redirect to provider so whatever provider we provide here like github or facebook twitter okay yeah so we'll use this 
name of driver so name of driver will be provider and that will redirect to the provider all right so we need to import that so i'm using php companion so pressing f5 will import that for me all right so next uh, method will be handle provider callback so this will also accept provider so this will be name of provider as I've already told so here we'll handle so first we'll get the user and then we'll store user info okay so for now uh, let's just leave these so uh, we were at this space we were creating that so we need that authorization callback url so the url will be mm, this so this is our home page and our callback URL will be social auth social auth and uh, github so name of provider will be github this is just a placeholder and callback okay so I think we are done so register application so now we get client ID and client secret so uh, now we need to store these uh, credentials so we'll store that in our config slash services so you, here you can see already there are some fields so let's create new entry for github actually we'll copy this from our here yeah, documentation so yeah everything will be same for Facebook or Twitter just name change and these uh, client ID and other stuff you'll get from uh, your you'll get from uh, those websites so let's uh, ENB you can directly put it here but it is a uh, good practice so we'll get these variable from our dot env file so yeah github let's make everything caps so github id and similarly for other fields okay so now we need to define these variable in our dot env dot env file and let's create those field and in client ID we'll use this ID and for secret we'll use this key you should use your key not this one and for callback URL that is same as uh, before this one okay so now save it okay so I think uh, we have set the things up okay so now we need to provide so we need to put this link on our uh, login screen let's let's do that so let's go to login.blade and we'll put let's see first login screen yeah so I think we'll put it yeah down below here for now So I'll put this below submit button. I'll remove button and instead I'll add URL. So URL will be social auth slash g 
should have So I'll use Font Awesome to make it look slightly good. So let's go to uh, Layout App and import that just below here. All right. So let's go to Login and here I'll use fa fa github i guess let's see all right so let's make it slightly bigger fa i think 3x yeah yeah we can get rid of this github okay similarly we can add more for facebook and twitter All right. Okay, so our link are in place. Let's check. Uh, let's click on GitHub. Okay, guys, sorry about that. There should be one the one braces. Let's test test once again. Yeah, so it asks us to authorize. Yes, authorize. Okay, so actually it uh, redirect us to this URL and here is nothing. So let's let's first uh, die dump something so that. Uh, we know uh, everything is okay. Call back. Okay, so let's check everything is all right. So GitHub and call back. Yeah, so that's uh, totally okay. And in our callback, so handling callback, so this is the command code to get the user. Yeah, so instead of hard coding this, we'll just code provider. we can dump this user so let's uh, go to login and all right so uh, that didn't work on WAMP on Windows uh, due to some certification error I don't know why that happened on Windows uh, now I have uh, booted it up on Homestead so I changed the environment to Homestead uh, so I've changed the URL and uh, since I've changed this URL previously it was one function dot something okay so uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to change that on our here uh, our dot env file this part everything else will be same also we need to change that in our application here callback so you can go uh, visit to this page from setting and then OAuth applications okay okay so with that done let's uh, go to social auth controller okay in handle callback uh, we are dumping the user token so that token will be returned by github so let's taste okay so it's working it's returning the user token 
also we can dump the user object let's see what is inside it okay so if error happens you have to go all the way from beginning yeah so we got these things yeah so all the information about user Uh, now after that uh, what we'll do is just uh, store this in our database like uh, author ID provider ID you can store these in your database so yeah let's let's store those okay so now we'll after callback we'll handle we'll store this in our database so that uh, to keep track of with which provider user logged in uh, so in order to do that we need to add two more fields called provider so that uh, the name of private provider and provider ID which will be the unique for each provider so that ID will be this one uh, we'll be storing this okay so let's add uh, those two fields so by default uh, we have user create user migration yeah so create user table migration uh, already there uh, what we'll do is we'll add uh, two field uh, both will be string one will be provider and another will be provider ID okay so so in this case we need to make slight change so we might uh, not log in with password so we'll make this nullable similarly uh, email will be nullable as well so this will be nullable uh, when we log in with uh, our provider github facebook etc okay so let's uh, migrate okay if you got this type of error I think changing this uh, this to localhost localhost will work localhost okay, let's try one more last time I think this time this should work authorize uh, let's redirect come on okay so here what we can do is uh, auth user calls to user will just uh, first or new so what this will do is this will check for uh, so let's complete this provider ID user ID okay so if there is a user with this provider ID it will get that user otherwise it will otherwise it will instantiate new instance uh, with this uh, field initialized okay so now what we can do is auth user and then we'll log in with that auth user and then we'll redirect user to our home page okay yeah so this will work so let's test social auth.dev login login with github yeah so it redirect us to home page okay so now you can uh, you can see login and other screen so as you can see here you are logged in as that user also inside your user table now you should see the provider name with provider id all right so yeah this is all for this tutorial if you don't understand anything feel free to comment down below i'll be there to help you so we'll uh, talk about logging in with facebook twitter and other social accounts in our next video so bye.